Welcome to Message Magic Step by Step Training. Step 6 Inviting people to add you to their contacts list. Are your Skype groups set up yet? Before you start adding new contacts, you need to have your present contacts sorted into Skype groups. Name folders to suit those already on your contact list. For example, family, personal friends, social, sporting, school, or church groups, business contacts, those in any program you are building, and there may be more. Each time you add a contact or someone adds you as a contact, drag and drop them into one or more of your groups. Treat your Skype groups like a tidy filing cabinet. Remember, it pays to be organized. Do not spam. Please go to the Resource Center for sample messages to send out through Message Magic as initial and follow-up messages. Here is the link. Your initial message should not look like spam or Skype may close your account. Message Magic will not tolerate spamming. Do not put any links to any programs on the initial contact message. This is merely an invitation for the person to contact you. Customizing your message is very important. If it sounds like generic spam, it will be treated as such. If it sounds personal, people will be more likely to read it because you'll have made it interesting enough that they want to look at who you are. Customizing your message. Make your message personal. The sample messages give you a good idea of what is acceptable and also what is already working for others. You need to include a little information about yourself. Once you have created your messages, keep them in a Message Magic Messages subfolder inside your Message Magic folder. Message Magic can personalize every message you send to your list, providing their contact info is listed in a first name, last name order. In place of each first name, type the code of brackets, first name, brackets, into your customized message and it will input their first name into each message going out. Organizing the usernames. Limit the number of Skype usernames you send to at one time. How many usernames have you collected? If you have collected thousands, tens of thousands or more, you will need to keep them in a master file and divide them up into new Excel spreadsheets saved as CSV files. Out of any number of Skype usernames sent, it is impossible to predetermine how many will add you as a contact. Therefore, it is best to start slowly by only sending out between 300 and 1,000 at a time. This way, you can get a feel for how many responses you will get and you'll be able to keep up with them in a timely fashion. Once you have the usernames, load the first lot of usernames from your folder and send them your initial message requesting that they exchange their contact information with you. Click on Load Users and your browser window will open. Select the folder where your username list is. Then double click on the selected file. Your usernames will load here. Select all or select individuals, whichever you choose. Type and paste your message here and click on Add Contacts. You can see your contacts loading here and in your Skype contacts ungrouped list in Skype. Do not send a message until they add you as a contact or you are spamming. Thank you for watching this Message Magic training session. We look forward to working with you personally to make Message Magic work for us all.